This is an ABC color presentation. Three knots and still gaining. So we're coming up to your predicted speed, sir, but the hull is showing some vibrational stress. Forget the hull, it's sound. Look at that speed indicator. I told you, Commander, there's no limit to what my fuel can do. 50 knots, sir. We've passed your predicted speed test, sir. May I order slow to standard? No, you may not. I'll handle this. Engine room? Aye, aye, sir. This is Captain Gant. Add another fuel cylinder. Aye, aye, sir. Sixty knots, sir. We can't handle the speed. We'll take it, mister. We'll take it all the way up to 75. What's Gant doing out there? He's got the test up up to 65 knots. I don't know. The Admiral says Gant's one of the most brilliant men he's ever known. But if you ask me, stability isn't his long suit. Well, that's an understatement. Look at his speed, still increasing. Well, the hull won't stand a strain. The hull may, but the instruments aren't calibrated for this speed. Then they'll be running blind. Maybe the Admiral can talk some sense into him. Let's find out. Alert him, Chip. Get me Captain Gant aboard Test Sub-1. Tell him the Admiral has a message for him. On the double. Aye, sir. 66, 67. The sea View's trying to contact us, sir. But at this speed, we can't receive them. Admiral Nelson can wait. When I talk to him, I really want to have something to say to him. There's something up ahead, sir. Can't tell what it is. Shock wave vibration, that's all. Resume your course. Maintain flank speed. All stop. Sound general quarters. Close all watertight hatches. Prepare to abandon ship. did not wreck that sub. Now, I saw that monster as clearly as I see you now. But none of the other survivors saw him, Mike. The Navy Board of Inquiry is going to hold you directly responsible for the loss of that sub and the men who died aboard her. Now, how can they? I told you how it happened. Fact still remains, you're running at excessive speed. Now, that's nonsense. The hull was sound and my fuel was working perfectly. But your instruments weren't. You're running blind. Sea view calling flying sub. Sea view calling flying sub. Come in, please. Read your loud and clearly. What's the report? All arrangements have been made to conduct the fuel test, Admiral. What's your ETA? Uh, we should be ready for berthing at uh, about 1,100 hours. Is Gant with you? Yes. Yes, he is. Good. There should be some surprises in store for him. 
We'll see you at eleven hundred hours. Flying sub clear. Now, what was that all about? I've been running some tests on your fuel. I don't like the preliminary reports. What do you mean, tests? The fuel has already proven itself. It's that monster we have to be concerned about. I don't agree. That fuel of yours is a pretty unstable compound. <laughs> well, that's hardly news. But I have tested the fuel thoroughly. You also had some cylinders of the fuel in the sub that was sunk. Harry, I don't get what you're driving at. The monster caused the disaster, not the fuel. And those cylinders are down at the bottom of the sea. Yeah. That's exactly what's worrying me. What's this all about, Captain? Oh, well, I think the uh, Admiral is better qualified to tell you. Where is he? He's on the radio phone to the inquiry board. He said to go ahead with the demonstration without him. What demonstration? This um, container is made out of titanium alloy, as strong as any we know. It contains exactly one gallon of ordinary seawater. And this is a sample of your fuel. Hey, careful with that. That amount of fuel could blow this submarine to the angels. Don't worry. It's been diluted to one one-hundredth strength. Now, I'm going to put one of these tablets into the seawater. One of these equals one drop of your fuel. And it's been diluted one hundred times. Well, what do you expect to prove? I've already tested my fuel at full strength in seawater. It has absolutely no effect on it. That's right, at normal pressure. But I'm going to raise the pressure inside this cylinder until it reaches a PSI of approximately 140. That's the water pressure where the test sum is. Right. Now watch the pressure gauge. I'm wasting an awful lot of time with all this. Why all this concentration on my fuel when there's a... Seawater. Plus pressure. That's the catalyst I never dreamed. Now we know the real monster that's down there. Your fuel cylinders. If seawater corrodes the cylinders at that pressure, there's no telling how much of that gas might be formed. The computer's estimate isn't very optimistic. If that amount of fuel forms in the gas and gets to the surface and is picked up by the trade winds, millions of people could die, Captain. Literally millions. We've got to get those cylinders. Get them up to the surface. We're ready. Give us the coordinates and we'll shove off. You'll have them. Let's go. Now, this is the general area, Chip. Let's set a course for here and proceed at flank speed. What's the rest of the plan, Lee? Well, time's a vital factor, Chip. The Admiral's going to take Gant with him on the flying sub. Now, hopefully, they'll locate the wreck and find the cylinders before we arrive with Seaview. I wouldn't depend too much upon Gant. Yes, I know what you mean. From everything I've heard of him, Gant wants to help just one person. Gant. That's true, Captain. As far as it goes. But my motives aren't entirely selfish. However, I have my record to clear. And I will do it. What were your motives when you tried to prove your fuel could break a speed record? Suppose we let the Board of Inquiry settle that, Captain. Right now, we have something more important to deal with. I made my way after the escape chamber by a freak chance. The only survivors came from these compartments. Mm -hmm. And the extra fuel cylinders were all stored in the aft section. That's right. Well, that could be a break. Now, if the hatches back here were closed in time, then this part of the ship may still be dry. That's a definite possibility. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, the Admiral can bring the flying sub right down here over this hatch. We may get lucky and find those cylinders there waiting for us. And that may not be all that'll be waiting for us. Meaning this creature of yours. That's exactly what I mean. I know you don't believe me, Captain, but it was there. Oh, well, we'll see. You'll need one crewman, somebody with both flying sub and diving experience. Mr. Morton, alert Riley he's going on the mission. Provide full diving gear for three men. Uh, 
You may have to do some deep diving, Captain. I hope you can handle it. For your privileged information, Captain Crane, I'm a fully qualified diver. Good. I'll notify the Admiral the plan's complete. Come in, Seagull. Roger, FS1. This is Seaview. The skipper wants to talk to you, sir. I'll put him on. Everything all right there, Admiral? We're over the target area. We're going down now. Now, we've got you on radar. We'll get there as fast as we can. Well, I'll keep the line open. We'll be standing by, Admiral. Settle on the hatch and see if we can get in. Roger. We'll catch up with you in two hours. Good luck, Admiral. Thanks. Steady. Those fuel cylinders could blow. Take the controls. Something wrong up there? The Admiral has to stay with the controls, or we'll never get out of here. Riley, do you think we two can handle it? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. The cylinder room is just after here. a drum to me, sir. All right, let's get them out of here. The lock holds out. Very, very careful. I'll cuddle this baby all the way home, sir. Breaking 
some loose equipment. Let's get out of here. So, there it is again. Hear that? Riley, put your cylinders down. Open the hatch. The frame is sprung. Yes, sir. You can blast this thing open. Maybe we can do just that. Well, blast the hatch. You've got a powerful explosive here. Let's use it. Take the cylinder. This stuff, sir, can it blast the hatch open? This hatch, this passageway, and about half the ocean. Okay, sir. How much fuel do we need to blow the hinges? I can't guarantee it won't put a hole in the side. I say just a few drops. Did you say drops? I need some some kind of a container. Container. I have a lighter. This might work. And hold her steady. The fuel is slashing around. Let's try again. Sparks. This is Seaview calling Admiral Nelson. 
Calling Admiral Nelson. This is Seaview calling Admiral Nelson. Come in, please. Calling Admiral Nelson. This is Seaview calling Admiral Forget Nelson. It, Sparks. Forget it. No answer can only mean trouble. How soon before we get there? About half an hour. Lee, you don't really believe in Gant's monster, do you? No, I didn't. But now I'm not so sure. Something else? It could be. Captain, contact dead ahead. It could be the flying sub. It's possible, sir. What's the range? About 2,000 yards. Activate nose camera. All right, sir. Just for doubting you. If he gets back. There's the sea view. They can't miss us. Wrapped up like a Christmas present. The mic. Still shorting, sir. Have those fuel cylinders. We'll try to break out. Uh, yes, sir. Flying sub. See if you're calling flying sub. Come in, please. You keep trying, Sparks. That's big trouble, Lee. 
Well, with Gant out there, it figures. Kowalski and Olsen, lay down to the missile room on the double. We're going out for a swim. Aye, sir. Contact the flying self. All right, let's move on. Why isn't a rescue party here? Are they afraid to face this? Something out there, sir. something being hidden behind him. Just let him get us out of here. I'll take care of that creature. Cut away those strands. I'm going aboard. We tried to break loose. We tried to break loose. Is he badly hurt? Could be a concussion. He needs medical attention. So does Bill Walton, my executive officer. We found him in the compartment next to the uh, cylinder room. It's a miracle he's still alive. Yeah. Check on those controls.
working now, sir. Good. See if she'll turn over. It'll just about get you back. Riley, take over the controls. So when you break loose, Randy will with us at the Seaview. Aye, aye, sir. You're not sending us back to the Seaview. Just as fast as you can get there. Well, we can't turn and run now. This is our chance to get that thing. You've got two badly injured men aboard. I know that. Kid. And enough explosives to kill millions of people. That's why I want you back at the Seaview now. What about that killer running around loose in the seas? What about your men out there? You gonna let it kill them too? I'm in command, Captain. Don't forget that. It's got one of the divers. Sub. Go ahead, Skipper. We'll need a torch out here, Riley. Better hurry. That thing's moving this way. I'll get it to them. Aye, aye, sir. It's on its way. Hello, sir. One's the Admiral. Is he badly hurt? He's unconscious. Get below, bring him a sick bay. Who's the other one, Captain Gant? No, sir. An officer named Walter. He was the exec aboard the test sub. We found him trapped down there. He's still alive. That's incredible. What about the fuel soldiers? We've got them, Mr. Morton. They're down below aboard the flying sub. Well, as soon as the casualties are removed, I want you to get a work detail and remove those cylinders. Aye, aye, sir. Diving party approaching port quarter. Dark. But don't try to set up, Admiral. I'm in the intercom, Mike. Admiral, you've got to lie still. A mic. In a hurry. Very well, but if you don't lie still, I'm going to have to give you sedation. Give me the mic. 
Yes, sir. Smart. Have you reached your skipper yet? Negative, Admiral. I'm still trying. Well, keep on it. And call me the minute you reach him. Aye, sir. He's hurt. Where's Captain Crane? I don't know, sir. He ordered us back. The last I saw him, he was with Gant. Gant? Admiral, this is Sparks. I've raised Captain Crane. Catch him into this land, Sparks. Aye, sir. Skipper, come in for the Admiral. I'll reach you finally. Where are you? The thing's gaining on us. I don't think we can make it. Well, we'll find some way to drive him off. Ready the nose laser and stand by a fire. Admiral, this is Morton. Go ahead, Chip. I've got the nose laser ready to fire. Very well. Get a radar fix on that creature and come about for a nose shot. Aye, aye, sir. Stand by to fire. Mr. Martin, we've got a dead aim on him. Anytime you're ready. Fire laser. Admiral, we drove it off. Did we kill it, ship? The laser wasn't strong enough to kill it. No, sir, but he knows he was hit. Mr. Horton, divers entering tank. Either of you hurt? Ah. We're just plain lucky. What drove it off? The laser, though, apparently wasn't strong enough to kill it. We've got to kill it. Forget it. As long as it doesn't attack us again. That's easy for you to say. But I've got a debt to settle with that thing. And I'm going to settle it. Lee, you're back aboard? We're both back. We're OK. Good. Now give me a full report when you get out of your gear. Aye, sir. Help me out of this stuff, will you? <laughs> That's enough now. I'm giving you something to put you to sleep. No, Doc, not, not yet. I'm sorry, Admiral. In sick bay, I'm in command. All set to get underway, Chip? Just about. Where's Gant? Yeah, I left him in the missile room. Skipper, this is sick bay. Go ahead. That survivor you sent down here. Yes, Bill Volter. How is he? Not so good, but he's conscious and asking to see you. You better hurry, he's pretty low. Very well. Take off. Right. Dead. All those men dead. Kill them. Now take it easy, Bill. You had nothing to do with it. My fault. Now forget it, forget it. You're gonna be all right. No. Sonar. Now listen to me, Bill. You were out running your instruments. It wasn't your fault you couldn't get a sonar warning. Listen. The sonar worked. I, I saw the obstruction. Gave an order. The wrong order. Just forget it, rest, all right? I lost my head. I saw obstruction. Gave an order. Hard left. Running smack into it. It was my fault, Lee. It was my fault. Mr. Morton. 
Look at this. Sir, can't we run for it? He's too close. He'll grab a moving object. If we play dead, he might ignore us. Shoot a charge to the hull. Might shake the most. Engineering, give me every ounce of power you've got and shoot it through the hull. It'll take about five seconds, sir. Stand yeah. by. There it goes. Engineering, reset your circuits. Prepare to get underway. Aye, sir. We'll stand by to answer bells. Kent. Sparks, there's a diver on. Patch me through. Go ahead, Skipper. Captain Gant, come back. Do you hear me? Come back before you get yourself killed. Forget it. I'm gonna get that killer, if it's the last thing I ever do. You can't hurt that thing with a spear gun. Now listen to me, Gant. If you're trying to clear your name, forget it. Alton just told me everything that happened. It wasn't your speed, it was a mistake. Alton panicked. He caused the crash. I strike rain, but it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna kill that thing. Not with a spear gun. I've got it loaded with my fuel. Get away while you can. All back full. Rig for explosion. Aye, sir. Close forward crash doors. Aye, sir. Secure the crash doors. Rescue detail. There's a diver off the bow. Bring him in. You know, Captain, I've been thinking, um, you're in a hurry to get back to Santa Barbara, aren't you? As a matter of fact, yes. Why? Well, if I add my fuel cells, all four of them, to your tanks, I bet I can get the sea view up to maybe 90 knots or even more. Well, this is where I came in.